حرمت علیکم ناؤ اے ویری بگ لا آف اسلام ہوم یو کین ناٹ میری دی ویمن ہوم یو کین نیور میری حرمت علیکم فربیڈن ٹو یو ان میریج آر نمبر ون امہات حکم یور مدرس مدرس گرینڈ مدرس پیٹرنل گرینڈ مدرس میٹرنل گرینڈ مدرس وہ امنات حکم and your daughters daughters of your daughters daughters of your sons down wa akhawatukum and your sisters wa ammatukum and your paternal aunts wa khalatukum and your maternal aunts wa banatul akhi and the daughters of your brothers wa banatul ukhti and the daughters of your sisters wa ummahatukum allati arda'nakum and those of your mothers who have suckled you mothers by suckling who have suckled you and they have also become mothers to you wa akhawatukum min raza'a in the same way the daughters of the suckling mothers you know they are also haram akhawatukum your sisters now they have become your sisters because you also you have had the the you know milk of the same woman which the, the, the daughter of that woman has taken. And also the mothers of your wives. And your foster sisters and your stepdaughters who are under your wardship and guardianship from min nisaikum ullati dakhaltum bihinna min your wives in whom you have gone. You have married a woman she was married to another person before who was who was deceased who died or who divorced her and she had a daughter from the former husband now when you have married this woman the daughter has come also now you are the guardian you are the stepfather of that daughter you can't marry her also but if you have not have the sexual intercourse with this woman and you have divorced it the divorce are again without having a sexual inter- sexual intercourse then you can marry the daughter of such a woman such a wife with whom you didn't have any sexual intercourse failam takunu dakhaltum bihinna if you have not gone into them if you have not had the sexual intercourse with them fala juna alaikum so it is not forbidden for you to marry the daughters of such women wa halailu abnaikum and also forbidden are for you the wives of your sons But sons, those Allah Zina min aslabe kum, who are from your own loins, not the so-called sons, the adopted sons. There is no no question of any adopted son in Islam. <coughs> Nothing of the sort. The sons are only from your own loins, who are from your own progeny. Wa antaj mau ban al uqtayan, and it is also illegal for you to have two sisters at once at one time in your marriage. You can't marry the sister of your wife. You can't join them together at one time. And here also please note that the Prophet ﷺ has added to this list. You can't have two sisters in marriage at one time. You can't have one woman and the paternal aunt or the maternal aunt of that woman at one time as wives. So the Quran says only sisters. But the Prophet added the wife and the paternal aunt they can't be added together in one marriage one woman and the maternal aunt they can't be taken together by one person in marriage illa ma qad salaf except what has already passed what has been done in the past well that is to be condoned inna allah kana ghafuran rahima verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful wal muhsanat min an-nisa and also those women who are married to other people muhsanat now please understand this word hisn hisn means a fort hisn muhsan is one who is fortified protected within the walls of a fort muhsan muhsana is a woman who is in the protection of a husband already who is in the fort that marriage bond of marriage is like a fort for her 
and that is a protection for her. The husband is to protect her chastity. So that is the most sanat. So women who are already married to other people, who are in the fort of nikah already, they are also haram for you. You can't marry them. So that is another list, the thing added to that list. Illa ma malakat aymanukum. But there is an exception to this. If a non-Muslim woman, she came to you as a captive, as a slave girl, although she has a husband, you know, back home, but now her status has changed. She is a captive. She is a slave girl. Now you can marry him, her. So this is an exception. Although she is married, but the husband is back home. He is not here. And she has been captured in war, in battle by the Muslims. So already, uh, I, I, uh, even if she has been married to some person, she can be taken in marriage by a Muslim. Kitabullah alaykum. This is the ordinance of Allah upon you. These relations, these, you know, don'ts. Don't marry this, don't marry this, don't marry this. These are muharramat abadiyya. You can never marry your own daughter. You can never marry your own sister. You can never marry your own mother. You can never marry the, the daughters of your brothers or sisters and so on and so on. And the rest of all women, they are permissible for you. They are allowed for you. They are halal for you. That you take them into marriage and tabtahu bi'amwalikum. But through your, your wealth, you pay them the dowry, the mahar, muhsinina ghaira musafirin. But the intention should be to, to bring her into the fort of nikah. Muhsinin ghaira musafirin. It should be in wedlock and not in license or fornication. Not only, you know, you to satisfy your sexual urge. No, this is going to be a sacred relationship. A lifelong relationship of a husband and a wife. That is the way that you can have a woman in marriage. Not, you know, a timely pleasure. Just, you know, a, a sensual gratification at a time. That is not permissible. That is haram. That is fornication. So, Now, if when you have benefited from them, you have taken the, the sexual pleasure from them, you must pay them their mahar, their dowry. You must pay them. But if after fixing the amount of the dowry, if by mutual agreement, you, you decide something else. Maybe you say, I will give more. Maybe she says, well, I can accept less. I leave some part of it for you. So there is no, no blame on you. In Allah Kana Haliman Aliman Hakima, verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all knowing, all wise.